Good afternoon. So today, after working on several FAFSAs with the parents, it reminded me of when my own daughter went off to college. Now, of course, she's 31, which I'm announcing on Facebook. So <laughs> we decided before she headed off that we were going to go to this huge corn maze. And as I was getting to work today, I thought, holy smokes, you know, filling out the FAFSA can sometimes be exactly like a corn maze. So if you are a parent, like I had yesterday, who had already done the FAFSA, but it was a couple years ago when they gave you a pin, well, that just complicates the whole process. So you still, the pin is useless. You still need to make an FSA ID. In order to make the FSA ID, you have to have your children available to be able to forward either your email code that they get, the email code, or they need to, and, or, but I like it both, they need to forward the code they get for registering their phone. You really wanna do those two steps so when you start the FAFSA, it's not that you need your child sitting there the whole time. You do, however, for this year, if you're going to school in the fall, 2019, you absolutely need 2017. You need their W-2s, or at least to know the amount. And another really great tip that I'm telling you is every single year that you file, you should, just as a precaution, go to the irs.gov and get your tax transcript. So for this year, it would be 2017, and just have that on file, because if you end up going through the verification process, which gets sent to your child, it's important you will not get your financial aid package if you don't have a copy of this. So it's just a really good thing to do. It's just one of those little tips that I give people so the reason why, let's get back to that corn maze. As my daughter and I were going through the corn maze, there were couples and people in there that it was really, really interesting how people behave when they're under duress and it can be very, very stressful going through the maze. So if you're someone that gets really frustrated with government forms, if you're someone that thinks that something's gonna take a half hour and really gets frustrated if it takes three and a half hours, I would caution you to make sure that you are doing it just like a corn maze in select your best time, select a time that you do have extra time, try to not rush through it. There are some questions. Um, I have helped parents fill out over 2,000 of these and I see the difference every year that they make changes in. Uh, it, and it's some is good and some isn't that helpful, but um, just know that <laughs> uh, it can be really daunting. So know thyself and make sure that you have a super nice bottle of wine after or maybe a whiskey because you're gonna need it. <laughs> okay, that's my little tip that a filling out the FAFSA can be just like going through a corn maze. Be prepared, be ready, get yourself in a place where you can handle it and if you have any questions, please go, please go to my site, thecoachingeducator.com or you can text me, my number is right on the, my website, but you can book a consult or you can book an appointment and I will help you through the FAFSA. Have a great day, thank you.